Hey everybody, it's here's Ox Bigley. Welcome back to my little slice of the internet. And today I am looking for something to open this box. No, but uh, but the box in itself is the fire sale box from Man Box. Um, yeah, that'll work. Um, it is. <laughs> no, it's not working. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> they do a fire sale box every once in a while, and what it is. Basically, they have a little bit of overstock, something that they're actually, uh, the reason why their boxes right now are so limited is they're trying to kind of alleviate that. Um, but, you know, it cleans up the warehouse a little, uh, whatever. So, they had two, they had four available, actually. Um, I'm not crazy, so I only got two. Um, and what, what it is, is it's the both horror ones. There's a horror, horror pop vinyl one box by itself and then there was the regular horror ones I got both of those so here it is uh, obviously these might be some things I've already gotten within the past couple of boxes maybe some stuff I haven't gotten before but we'll see so uh, I was going to say as per usual I will show you the uh, thing but there's 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 the uh, infamous black crepe paper so there's that I'm trying not to knock stuff over okay so, ooh, there's a lot of pins. There's usually a lot of pins in these things, which is, which is really cool. Um, <clears throat> I did this get I did get this before. This is the Jingly Man. Um, I will take it out of the bubble wrap uh, just to show you. Some other really cool stuff in here. Um, let's just get. I don't know what that sound was, but anyway. <laughs> um, ah, this is Jingly Man. This is from. Uh, Scary stories to tell in the dark. Not seen this yet. Um, if you have seen this, let me know if it's good, if it's worth a watch. Um, if it's one of those, you know, generic PG-13 horror movies or or what, what the dealio is. Uh, as I Actually, I might, I might look and see if I can find that tonight or this, is this week on... Um, so this is signed by... Uh, Tori James, who played the Jangly Man. I'm guessing he's jangly because because uh, he's like all skin and bones, so he's jangly. He jangles around. So, anyway, there's that. <clears throat> I will do the, the, the pins last because those are there's a lot of pins, which is kind of cool. Right here. <laughs> so, what is these? Oh! That is not what I thought it was. But regardless, okay. Um, these are sunglasses. A pair of sunglasses has been signed by Tuesday Night. That is a person's name, oddly enough, um, who played Kristen in Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Uh, and as you recall, the reason why they're sunglasses is because the infamous... Uh, Freddy Krueger doing a, um, <clears throat> uh, his, his version of, of David Caruso from, uh, CSI Miami in that one. So, <laughs> um, and it has a line from the film there, sleeping pills. So, because the grandma, she forgot him. And then that's her signature over there on the other lens. That's pretty cool. So, um, hey, this is a key. Now, one thing that you might not know about me uh, is I actually like old, like legitimate old keys. There's something weird about it, something odd. Uh, I always used to like playing around with keys when I was a kid. Don't ask. I can barely even explain it. But there's something, especially with something that's like an ornate key, there's something quite um, puzzling about it. It's like, you know, this, this, this goes to something or this went to something. So it, it's kind of a, you know, mind's eye fantasy, if you will, uh, with keys. And because I don't know what this is from, it's probably from uh, one of those paranormal activity movies. Which no, not that one. What's the other one? Um, Insidious. Yeah, maybe it's from that. Let me know in the comments. All both of you. So. Oh, okay. 
I think I got the special one last time. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. So this is a redo from uh, two months ago. This was the Jack Torrance side of the card. And I I had the other one in a box. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm not digging that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, these. I mean, the artwork on these cards is really cool. They, they fit together, and you have uh, Shelly Long's character over here. Uh, which I don't remember her name. <laughs> so, pins, pins, and more pins. That is... I seriously thought that was upside down. Now see, let me show you how I saw it. I saw this, which to me looked like a, like a weird monkey with a hat. And that, but no, it's actually uh, Hannibal Lecter. With uh, that butterfly of doom or that moth or whatever it was. Uh, which had like a bunch of naked ladies in it for some reason. So yeah, Hannibal Lecter, pretty cool. Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Oh, I got another one of these. Cool. So that's uh, Zombie Captain America. Make up your own jokes there. Uh, or draw your own analogy with pen and paper. So what else we got? I think I got that one before, or I got a special one of that. This is, um, I'm not sure which one, which this was originally with, but, uh, this is, uh, Candyman. That's cool. I've only seen the first one. And I saw, like, a, like, an edited for TV version, so it wasn't really, you know, didn't have all the good stuff in it. So, I think this one was from... Maybe a couple years ago at Christmas, because this is from uh, one of the Krampus ones. And I have seen this movie once. It was a couple years ago, and I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't remember it all that well. I remember liking it. It wasn't that bad. But, um, and you have Stripe from the Gremlins. Very cool. And I think I had this one before. Uh, this is, we'll call him uh, Dinner Time Freddy. Uh, we'll call him that, uh, is when he was, uh, overfeeding that one character in that one movie, of which I do not remember. <laughs> so we have the Chucky doll, head, uh, sculpt. This, I think I got, I think I got a bonus one of these. I don't think I got the regular one. Um, I have to go digging through my boxes and, and, and see what I got. Uh, but that's obviously the Martian from, uh. Mars Attacks, done in a very, very cool and weird style. Now, on to all of the art prints slash uh, signed photographies. Ooh. Okay. So this is Brian... Uh, Brian... Romero. Okay, Brian Romero, there it is. Uh, that is the... Alien, the xenomorph, if you will, or if you won't, I, I don't care. So. <laughs> we have, I think this is from, yeah, this is from. Try to read it sideways. This is from. I think it's Return of the Living Dead. I'm thinking that's what it's for. Possibly. Terror Wants Company, so I'm guessing maybe that's it. It doesn't give me the artist's name on the back here. Oh, Oscar Van. There you go. Some pretty cool artwork. We have pop art print of... Um... The lady woman from, from, I don't remember her name, the character's name, I'm sorry. I did watch all the whole show of um, Bates Motel, which was which was interesting and quite good. And a lot of attention to detail, especially with the first movie. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, <laughs> there's this, uh, this is called Andy's Psycho, Andy Warhol style. Uh, and is signed by Jill Kimball. Cool. Another, uh... Artwork similar to the uh, Zombo one here. This is Shut the Gates from Kim, Kim Martin. I do not know what movie this is. 
I don't know. So I do apologize. I'm sure there's probably a good movie, whatever it is, but I don't know what it is. So and this one, I think I had this one too, but I'm not sure. But it's, it's good artwork regardless. Is a recreation of, uh, or possibly uh, an alternate for the Scream movie poster. Uh, this one is called Killer Mask and it is hand signed by artist Frank Dean. And here's Pet Cemetery. I think I got this one actually in a more recent one. Um, Pet Cemetery. Oh, I didn't notice that right there. Oh, it's cool how that kind of makes a face up there. Cool. I, you can't really see it up close like that, but it's, uh, huh. Um, this is from the new one, obviously. So it doesn't have uh, Herman Munster in it. So this is called Pets, uh, signed by artist Dead for the, oh. His artist's name is Dead. Okay. <laughs> Which is his, his signature is a little a little face with two X's for eyes. <laughs> you know what? Clever. I have to say. Uh, this is Sam. This is number 535 out of 2000. Uh, this is Trick from Trick or Treat. Sam, uh, artist. Woo! Um, Sutaki? I'm. I'm I'm guessing there is it starts with a TS. I don't know how that's pronounced in in not English language. So, <laughs> and here we have, um, oh man, I can't remember. I cannot believe I forgot this dude's name. Dawn of the Dead, uh, by artist Zombie, which is with two E's because be different. Um, oh man, I can't remember the name. Of the, I, think, I want to say it was like Bud or something goofy like that, but I'm getting confused with like that really weird sequel to Chud for some reason. That's... Uh, I want to know the story behind that. So yeah, that is him. <laughs> they were trying to... It was it's actually a really cool movie. I think I told the story uh, before. If you haven't seen this, it's... First of all, it's Romero. Is it Romero? Yeah, I think it's Romero, yeah. His sequel to Dawn of the Dead. Um, sorry. His sequel to Night of the Living Dead. <clears throat> and, yeah. I think Tom Savini worked on that film, too. He was actually in the movie. No, I'm thinking of the other one. Am I? I'm confusing movies, regardless. Um, there's the one that happened in the in the shopping mall, and then there's the one that happened in a, in, a, in, a, in a bunker. And I think this was the character that was in the bunker. I don't remember. Uh, Day of the Dead. Hold on a minute. Maybe I'm just getting straight up confused, man, because this is a character from Day of the Dead, and this is this is Dawn of the Dead. Am I confused, or is the artist confused? Let me know in the comments below. So, <laughs> um... Clearly, some of the best stuff, and that still looks like a dang monkey with an upside down with a hat. Uh, fuzzy face, and I might wear it upside down just to confuse people. Regardless, um, <laughs> I am hoping this doesn't break. This is not breakable. The key, because this is, and I wish this was like that uh, translucent material, like uh, stained glass. It probably was supposed to be that in the in the film. But, regardless, that's really cool. So, this was the fire sale box, the horror fire sale box. Please uh, feel free to chew me out for not knowing what some of these things are from in the comments below. Uh, and I will see you next time. The next one that should be coming up, because I had both of the ones for February. Marches is coming up soon. Um, I... It's been so long, I don't remember what they were, but I will look them up. And hopefully I'll actually prepare ahead of time instead of doing it while I'm making a video. So, anyway. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, if you saw this stuff and you go, Hey, that right there looks like some cool and awesome things. Then, by all means, go check out Bandbox. Description, uh, the description is in the link below. Because today is opposite date, apparently. <laughs> So the link is in the description below. Uh, they're great. As you can see here, I mean, of course, I always wait till the last minute to describe what they are. 
They are obviously a subscription box service, and they, they pride themselves on having one-of-the-kind collectible items as well as signatures from famous peoples and artworks and the like. Uh, I, I wouldn't be continually to subscribe to them if I thought they were terrible. So, with that said, um, oh, do look forward to I think I have my next uh, Fallout crate coming soon. Or the, I actually think it is a second vault uh stash coming soon from Bethesda themselves. We'll see what pops up in that. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. Uh, wow, it's 15 minutes. Yikes. See you then. Bye.